The weird sound you can hear right now is actually from a lot of people playing the new Guitar Hero game, Guitar Hero Metallica. That's because we're standing right here at the motion capture area at Neversoft Studio, where we're about to do an interview with the lead designer. So the big question and the easy question, Metallica, why? Because it's Metallica? No, I mean, it, you know, there's a when you come up with a band game idea, there's a few bands that are on that short list. You know, Metallica is one of those bands that's been around for a long time. They've got a great history, you know, and they have uh, just this wide range of music that they played over the years, you know, from insane fast stuff to really heavy stuff along the way. So I think it was just kind of a no-brainer to try and incorporate them and put them in the game. So is this something you have been hoping to do for a long time or was this just something that was offered to you and you just grabbed it immediately? Yeah, I mean, ever since the concept of doing a band game was around, like Metallica was one of the people that we wanted to do. So we really did what we could to try and get them in the game and, and it worked out all right. A couple of years ago, Metallica was, was in this future deal with Napster and it kind of backfired on them. But um, now they seem to, to go the complete opposite way and actually approach this new medium. Um, what has this meant for you, if anything? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm certainly glad that they're they're into the Guitar Hero idea because I mean, it was a huge, huge deal for us to be able to do this. And the Napster thing, I think, you know, it was just just a misunderstanding in a, on a lot of respects of, of what was going on, maybe on, on multiple multiple levels. But I, I think one of the big differences here is we're totally working with the band to do something that they approve, and and we're working with them to try and do something that we both agree is is going to be great. Do you think that, do you think you'll be able to to um, um, push Metallica music to a whole new audience with this game? You know, I hope so. I think the, the game the game really isn't designed just for Metallica fans. It's it's a Guitar Hero game, and Guitar Hero games have a wide, broad appeal. Like you know, from like 80 year old grandmothers to you know to, to five year old kids. And I think that we've made one of the best Guitar Hero games ever with this game. And I think a lot of people are going to want to play it. You know, there's people that are going to you know classic rock fans that like you know Leonard Skinner and Dan Lizzy and Queen. They're going to pick up the game. There's there's metal fans that like you know new metal like The Sword and Mastodon. They're going to pick up the game. And I think it's just going to really help push you know help push Metallica. Metallica's music helped with Guitar Hero, the Metallica fans, it's going to be going to help us both. You know, I said this before, they, the, the, the upper end of difficulty of the game is very hard. The very hard songs, you know, and it's usually the songs that people really want to play. Master of Puppets, I want to play that song? It's going to be hard. Um, there are a lot of songs in the game that aren't that difficult to play. Songs like For Whom the Bell Tolls or, you know, Tuesday's Gone from Leonard Skinner. And then if you're playing on an easier difficulty, like I want to play those songs on medium or easy, it's going to be straightforward. Play on beginner and just strum. Um, and I think it's still open and accessible to those people who don't have a lot of skill and want to just get in there and just play a song and have a good time. Um, but then the upper level of the difficulty is like way up there, really hard. Is there anything you have been able to do with this edition of, of uh, Guitar Hero that you weren't able to do before? Um, well, incorporating the double bass stuff for the Expert Plus, I think that was, you know, that's a first for us. Um, also, the Metallifax stuff really delve into the band's history so they can learn about, you know, what songs are about or why they particularly picked a particular opening act. I think that stuff is great. But then getting the bonus content from the band, the videos, the, the photographs, all that great stuff, I think that, that really, really helped make this a complete product. Working with bands, um, has that become easier after, uh, after you've begun launching these uh, separate editions of the tire? Well, I do think you sort of learn how to approach the band a little bit more. Um, you learn to you know, sort of give them their space and leave them alone when they want to be left alone and you know, work with their management to try and get, uh, get where you want to go. Um, you know, I, Metallica was pretty easy to work with. I mean, they, they, they were really close with us and uh, tried to help us get all these features in the game. So I think it, I think it worked out pretty well. Any stories you want to share? Um, well, I mean, one of, the, one of the most interesting things about me, about, about the game to me, it was like, um, you know, James Hetfield is this very imposing, very scary figure, although he doesn't like hearing that, but he's, you know, he can be intimidating, man, he's like a metal god, you know? But um, we were doing motion capture with him, and he was supposed to end at like 2 o'clock or something, and he kept wanting to do bonus, you know, doing extra songs, I want to do more, because his kids were coming, he wanted his kids to watch him do motion capture. And then you see his, his little girls come, and they're watching their dad do the motion capture, seeing him with his kids like, that's like a metal god, like he's playing with his kids, it was weird, it was, it was pretty cool.